everybody, it is February 1st, 2013. We're already into the second month of 2013. So, as usual, it seems like time just flies by. But what did we just do in the last week of January 2013? This last week we had three releases. An advanced voice course release, a vibrato course release, and another listen and recognize. Now, on the listen and recognize, I'm just still working with you hearing major and minor, ultimately major, minor, diminished, and augmented chords, but I've been, the last few lessons, I've been working mostly on major chords in root and in, in an inversion, but I haven't told you which inversion yet. I'm just getting you to hear the sound before I really explain what inversions are all about. Okay, so that's what happened there. That was uh, step 88. And now in the advanced voice course, step 15, we're still working on mix, but we're working on chromatic scales that descend and ascend back down and back up again, really keeping you tight in mix so you can really work out that air pressure. Uh, what's going to happen next is we're going to start working back again, head voice sliding back down into the mix, but after we've done these mix exercises, it should be even easier for you to understand how to be in that area of your voice and feeling stronger, which is going to make a way better singer. Okay, and on the vibrato course, well, we are in the step three of the refinement area. And the refinement area means you already have vibrato, but now we're starting to refine it in various different ways. And this last one was called a crescendo diminuendo, and that crescendo diminuendo is exactly what it means to get louder and then get softer again uh, and bring in your vibrato and have a control of that. Come up, hold your vibrato, hold nice straight tone, bring in the vibrato, crescendo, decrescendo or diminuendo and come back down in your volume, keep your vibrato going, that type of thing. And that truly is refinement because as you get better at doing that, you're really building your skill so you can use it as a 100% creative artistic tool and you can bring those things in and take those things out at will whenever you want to when you're developing a song and singing a melody line and bringing in your special things that make the song special because of your choices. Alright, so anyway, that's what's been happening on the site in relationship to last week's releases. Now, the vocal tip of the week. Well, I want to go back and talk about something that's very basic again. And that's what I call onset, sustain, and release. A three-step event that completely has to do with the cause and effect of the rest of your line. When I talk about onset, sustain, release, which I will hear in a moment, it's not just the note that you're coming into that's important. The whole point of this is because this is the beginning of the phrase. You've taken a breath, you're starting a new phrase, and how you come into that first note is going to affect the rest of all of the words and melody line of that breath before you have to take another breath. The whole phrase. It's cause and effect. And the point is, if you start with something that's wrong, it cannot turn into right. Right? You have to start correctly and then the cause and effect of that will make everything else correct. So if you bang into the beginning of your note, which so many people do, what they're actually creating is something that causes a muscular action that causes the larynx to flip around and go in different positions other than staying balanced in the middle of the neck. Uh, that's a good onset. Uh, that's not a good onset. Can you artistically make the choice between the two? Of course you can. Is there times where maybe the, what I would call a wrong onset, the right thing to do artistically? Well, when it comes to art, you are the artist and you make those choices. But when it comes to health of your voice, I can tell you that if you're constantly starting notes like that, you're going to hurt yourself in time. And even if you don't hurt yourself in time, honestly, it probably won't be the best choice. Because a good onset, again, will balance the muscles and help you get a nice, clear, good tone throughout your phrase. So a good onset simply means that you've got to come in nice and, and gentle. Ah, uh, not scoop up. Ah, uh, not hit hard. Ah. Uh, not those things. Uh, there I let my vibrato come in. So I held a note, 
sustained it, and let the vibrato come in. Okay, that actually was the full three steps, but let's get into what the second step is. So first we need a good onset. Ah, and everything else. Ah, that happens well because I started the note correctly. Now the next step is sustain. And to sustain has to do with the ability to get a good, good input of air inside of you. You take the low breath. You let the air continue on up into the intercostals, meaning it starts low and comes up and fills up. So if, if we took the breath and thought of your waist going like this, expanding out but not just locking there, continuing on up into the chest area with a good posture, good straight alignment posture. That's all you got to do. You know, push the head way up this way, get the strap muscles involved, which can mess things up. You just got your head nice and straight on. You take a good breath. Now if you get that good onset, uh, you also have the ability to hold a note for a while because the air is there for you. Now the last step, the release. Okay, we are animals of air and if we run out of air, uh, we have a tendency to pull flat. Now on one note that we were sustaining for a long time, or again on the whole phrase, at the end of the phrase you start to run out of air. And if you start to run out of air, that is what dropping support is. You've dropped your air support, it's not supporting you anymore, and what does that mean? You're going to have the tendency to be going flat off the ends of your phrases or off the end of the last note. So what do we do to correct that? Keep the support up and then take a breath to stop the note. So if I'm singing, uh, I'm doing this because I can't talk and breathe at the same time, I'm breathing in when I go like this with my thumb, uh, and I take a breath and everything just stops. And notice I didn't go, and take a noisy breath or move my mouth or anything. It's just a natural, relaxed ah, and take a breath and everything stops clean, perfect, doesn't drop so you don't go out of tune. That's a uh, little trick I figured out years ago working with uh, singers in the recording studio. I'd get phone calls from producers. They'd ask me to come in and help me with their singers if their singers were having problems. And that was one of the big problems that I could fix really, really quick is that if they're dropping the support off the ends of their phrases, to just take a breath to stop the note before they run out of air and do that naturally. And it always cleans everything up pitch-wise in the studio almost immediately. So that's a good little trick. So again, onset, sustain, release. Onset, come in nice and smooth and even. Sustain, make sure that you have your air support and your posture correct. And release, take a breath off the end of the note, and that'll help you a lot. All right, I guess that's the wrap-up, and that's your uh, weekly vocal tip. So I will see you guys next week in the year 2013 in February.